<laughs> I'll go first. Hey, Josie, how's it going? Good. Yourself? Doing well. I, I, over the past week, I, I know you've just kind of been getting introduced to the guys and, and taking to the fields for just, you know, the off-season stuff. Coming in as a, a veteran, as a middle linebacker, a guy that has to kind of be the, that quarterback on that side, what kind of role have you found yourself taking through these first two weeks just as you are still integrating yourself with this team? Yeah, just kind of, you know, breaking it in, getting it with new guys, starting to, you know, learn about these guys, learn about their background, um, and just create those friendships. Um, and, it's you know, we're st still very early stage of that stuff, but uh, – a lot of great people out here, um, and I've enjoyed my time so far. And uh, you know, just look to grow in that way every single day, and, and um, try to get to know people more, and uh, try to you know get in that leadership role. Hey, Josie, uh, Mike K from the Charlotte Observer. Welcome to Charlotte. Um, wanted to ask you, how much did Pete Hansen and uh, Idro Evero play a role in you coming here? Obviously, you have the background from from the one season together, but how much did they play a factor in you signing here? And why are they um, complementary to your game from a coaching standpoint? Yeah, no, they were definitely big uh, to me coming here and playing. Uh, really enjoyed my time with them, even though it was just a year. Uh, just the way they coach the game uh, and they allow you to play the game and, you know, just go out there and flow and, and play it to its, you know, its true value and, and just going out there and, and finding the football. So that's what I've enjoyed playing with them and enjoyed, you know, being in a specific room with uh, uh, with Pete. And he's just, he's a great coach, uh, a great guy to learn from, uh, very detail oriented um, and the same with Coach E. So enjoyed my time with them and that's really what uh, brought me here. And um, also you guys got a, a rich tradition of some good linebackers here too. So that's always a, a good thing. All right, we'll go with David Newton, followed by Jeff Hawkins. Hey, Jada, David Newton, ESPN.com. Welcome to Charlotte. Uh, oh, want to follow up on that. What makes uh, Coach E so, so effective at what he does at a young age? Yeah, he's just great at bringing all positions in together um, and have everybody be on the same page. You know, sometimes coaches are, you know, just strictly with one position group here and there, um, and you're not all together a bunch. But uh, with him, it's – we're usually uh, together as a defense, uh, you know, verbalizing what we're doing, verbalizing our job, and he expects a lot out of you. Um, and that's great. That, make, that motivates players and makes them, you know, want to do that much more. I was curious, you saw Bryce Young last year on the other side. What, what were your impressions of him? Good young quarterback. Um, excited to see where his future brings him. Uh, you know, he's got some good pieces in front of him and then really excited to see, you know, where the offense can go. and. We'll find out here, you know, in a couple of weeks when we start practicing and some of the stuff. And little the walls, what going to Iowa? You're you pulling for Caitlin Clark? Were you like a uh, big fan? You, your paths ever crossed? Any stories involving her? Yeah, no, uh, paths have crossed a little bit. Just kind of DM'd her on Instagram. Um, we ended up going to a couple games with my uh, my wife and my two kids, and then my daughter ended up getting a picture with her after one of the games, which was phenomenal for her to be able to come and find us and be able to uh, do that and just kind of shake your hand and tell her, you know, how much we appreciate it. And just a great person down to, uh, down to earth, uh, which is it's hard to believe sometimes when you're that big um, and that big a stage. So great person, great, phenomenal player. Uh, enjoyed watching her at Iowa for sure. Did you go to? How many games you said? Now, which games did you, did you go, did you go to some of the tournament games? Or no, no, I went season? to uh, one versus Nebraska and another one was versus Indiana, I believe. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, greetings. This is Jeff Hawkins from the Post, uh, Charlotte Star, uh, Charlotte Post. Sorry about that. Uh, um, your your reason for coming to uh, um, uh, uh, Charlotte out, outside of uh, you're familiar with the coaches. Why was this your next best step? Uh, for me, it was honestly the coaches. Um, it was familiarity. Uh, I wanted to come to a place where I knew people um, uh, and where I enjoyed their coaching and felt like I played some of my best ball under their coaching. Uh, and this is definitely the place. All right. Let's go with Joe Person. Hey, Josie. Uh, good to see you. Joe Person with The Athletic. Welcome to Charlotte. Thank you. <laughs> hey, curious. You had mentioned the, uh, the, the linebacker tradition here. Wondered if you had yet had any interactions with guys like Thomas Davis or Luke Keekley. And kind of your background with with them, if if you have any. 
No, not yet. Um, I saw Luke walking through the other day. Uh, was lifting and stuff, so unable to talk to him. But look forward to those interactions, talking to those guys, picking their brain, and uh, understanding you know how they played the game. And uh, they did a great job when they were in it, uh, and they were some of my role models when I was growing up. So um, it's fun to see you know their pictures around the locker room and around the building, um, and just kind of understand what kind of footprint they left here. That's why I was going to ask you. It looks like you were either early in your Iowa career or finishing up high school, maybe around the time they kind of had their yep. run here. Memories. I don't know if you were watching a lot of football back then or not, but your thoughts on on like that Super Bowl team, for instance. Yeah, no, I was watching a little bit of football here and there, um, but I was mostly on the farm. I was a farm kid, so it was a lot of it was a lot of work in there and. and if we could watch a couple games, you know, maybe a uh, bi-weekly or something like that, we'd uh, watch them with my dad and stuff. But uh, just saw those two guys flying around all the time, and it was so fun to be able to watch them, you know, the art of the game and how they understood it and how quick it was for them just to pursue the ball um, and find the ball every single play. How many acre farm and what were what were you raising? Yeah, so around 1,500 acres. Um, they got cattle and they have organic turkeys, and we used to have hogs, and now my brother does a little bit of a – pasture raise hog stuff so a bunch of stuff going around there uh, a lot of work um, they're very busy all the time wow thank you all right any more any more questions for josie all right thank you josie have a good day awesome appreciate y'all